Pastor Helder Luembata Angola II. Vision of New Demon of Entertainment Arriving on the Earth One morning I had the following vision. Through various means of transport and methods I saw several demons arriving at the land with their luggage. They were thousands of them. They wore makeup. Others had animal appearance. Some had two head and some were deformed in their bodies. In my vision I looked and saw that on that road they were a crowd of large number of people admiring and applauding the arrival of these demons. And these people I saw applauding were even taking pictures. They were happy with the arrival of demons on earth. The Lord told me, these demons that are arriving on the earth have been released in the end. Times to destroy humanity. But malignant men who are willingly welcoming them are false. Humans. They are also demons that were already stationed on the earth. These demons are happy. About new arrival that are reinforcements of the kingdom of Satan. They are demons that influence. All the areas of human life. Thus newly arrived demons were welcomed and greeted by those who. Came to earth long before them to cause destruction. The Lord told me, the demons you see are the end times demons who are demons of. Entertainment and modernity. They have arrived with several movies that will be more entertaining. And fun, even on Facebook, which will cause more people to stay longer on social media and. Whatsapps. The believers and the people will stay longer in the social media even servants of God. Who are failing to resign from the world including the area of media and entertainment. They will. Be tempted and they will fall into these traps. Christian singers will give more shows and will even sing profane songs too. Many will not want to seek God because they will be distracted in entertainment having fun time. They will spend time with these entertainment and movies. Demons will target and trap the watchmen. I watched those demons that came to reinforce those who were already operational here. The Lord informed that these new demons that had disembarked on the land have come with the mission of Preventing the peoples from being caught in the rapture thanks to media, movies and entertainment. That will consume their time of prayer and Bible reading. These movies will give a lot of pleasure. But it is fake for the end of those consuming them is bitter. These saints were supposed to spend time in prayer but entertainment and media will distracted them. The Lord warns the watchmen of the nations that several demons have arrived in the department of marriage thus generating several divorces and betrayals. It's time to drop everything in various areas of life for the satanic media will end your faith. In another experience I saw a large number of singers dressed in choral clothes. They were falling in hell out of ignorance. Actually they were adorned with false hair and earrings and these singers are a great influence on the generation. People who do not know the Lord's sound doctrine keep Saying that many of these famous singers use adornments and they wonder why these singers are going down to hell. I want you to know that after life they are falling in hell and they burn twice. As much for the souls that they influence to walk in disobedience. The Vision of Pope Francis I was doing early morning prayer, which is a daily devotion for me. For every day I pray at dawn. During the dawn communion prayer, I was surrendering that year worshipping the Lord. I was led to see a clear vision as if it were happening now. In that moment when I was in the spirit I saw the Pope and I looked and observed what he was doing. He went down as if he was saying a prayer when suddenly he started to turn into a huge horrible bug. I will try to describe the infernal animal I saw. It was a snake and lizard hybrid, only that this beast had four legs. I watched and I was terrified to see this transformation of the Pope. I saw this beast was the Pope. I noticed that he seems to be opposed by a huge stone, which was so big. So after the transformation of the Pope, he seems to be stopped by this mysterious stone. And he didn't get very close to the stone but he kept spinning like a bug. When I observed the face of that beast, I saw that he was extremely furious and very angry. When he was furious against this stone that was restricting his movement, 
he was powerless. I was wondering. What's going on? I saw the beast that was Pope Francis roaring with great fury. And he finally made a big move in order to neutralize and annihilate the opposition posed by this stone. And then I heard the word of the Lord saying, The stone that you see is the church whose head is the Christ. The beast that is the Pope is making so many plans to bring down the church. He is never able to overpower the body of Christ the Church of Jesus Christ. The Pope has been looking for a mechanism to neutralize the Church. But his plans against the living Church are always frustrated. The Church is established on the unshakable stone that is Jesus Christ, who is the cornerstone. The stone the builders have rejected has become the cornerstone. On this stone I will Build my church and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. As long as the stone is in the land there is no door for the beast. The Pope will not prevail against the church no matter how the Antichrist's plans are going well. They will not be in peace with the presence of the bride in the land. The church is hidden in Christ the stone and while the church is in the land the Antichrist and the Pope are restricted. And what will happen in the world now is what Christ will allow. Because the bride is still here. The stone is still here and it is a stumbling block for the beast and the false prophet in their ambition to take over the world. The Lord said, while the bride is in the land the Pope and the beast will not have all the freedom and capacity to exercise freely their power and rule the land. Since the Pope cannot bring down the Church, the beast, and the global elite await desperately for the departure of the church. And when the withdrawal of the Bride of Christ happen in the blast of the trumpet, the beast, and the Pope will be released from restriction and limit imposed on them. They will have more authority as soon as the church leaves the land. 2 Thessalonians 2 colon 7 10 For the mystery of lawlessness doth already work, only there is one that restraineth now until he be taken out of the way. 8 And then shall be revealed the lawless one, whom the Lord Jesus shall slay with the breath of his mouth, and bring to naught by the manifestation of his coming, 9 Even he, whose coming is according to the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, 10 And with all deceit of unrighteousness for them that are perishing, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Then the Lord took me to a place and in that place I don't remember where it was. But I was on a mission in that place. When I looked I saw a lady who also came to do a mission. When I looked at her, she was a woman of God but she was adorned with false hair, false nails, makeup, earrings, and all types of beauty accessories of the modern day. She thought she was right with God with adornment. I said to the lady, the rapture will happen and with these sinful things you are wearing you will not rise for you will left behind. No woman will rise with these outfits that are satanic and with these vanities. Beloved when I had finished speaking, I heard a great crash a roar in the heaven like the blast of the trumpet. When I looked, I saw that the sky got dark. And there was the rapture of the church. That was happening. Quickly I saw that I was going up. And I realized that I was shirtless when I began to rise. I was very concerned about being shirtless when suddenly, I saw angels coming down from heaven. They came towards me and one of the angels brought me a very white shirt that was resplendent. The upper part of the shirt was crystal and the bottom was white as fluorescent light. I put on the shirt. But right there in the sky I heard someone on earth calling me. And the angels released me. Because of that call and I woke up with a strong presence of God. I wondered about the shirt. The Lord said I should eliminate some applications like WhatsApp. And the only one that I still maintained was Facebook. It distracted me from God through number of the messages I had to answer. The Lord told me. The enemy is doing many plans to cause the saints to miss the rapture. Through distraction. I already could hear the archangel's trumpet sounding. 
we are going to leave this evil land that has no love and where everything is influenced by the enemy of our souls. Repent brother please wake up from sleep. I urge you brothers to be prudent with Satan's plans of the television. Begin to distance yourself from it and give it up. Don't be distracted by social networks and everything that is stealing your time of the altar. Renounce those vices and those Practices of masturbation and porn and pursue godly sorrow, remorse, and broken-heartedness over your sins. For very soon the blast of the trumpet will sound. The enemy wants to make you remain behind in the tribulation. Review your offended feelings without any reservations. You must forgive those who have offended you. You should ask for forgiveness for those you offended. If you still wear indecent clothes with cleavage or if you are involved in illicit affairs, if you use makeup and nail polish and all this you got to repent with godly sorrow. If not you will be left behind when the rapture takes place. The Holy Spirit and the Bride still give flavor to all the sorrows that this land has but very soon the Holy Spirit and the Bride will be taken away and the world will fall in the Great Tribulation.